The toroidal field is an electromagnetic field that surrounds everything, living and non-living. Humans, Earth, objects, animals, plants, galaxies. Every one of these fields are in direct communication with each other and the cosmic field. So what are toroidal fields and how can we bring ours into coherence? The torus is the fundamental shape of the universe. It is a field that goes through our body and extends outward. This is also known as an aura. This field receives, exchanges, emits, and processes data, information, and sends it to our physical body. Our energetic fields, they are always shifting and changing in its dynamic of the energies that are flowing through it. And these changes that happen within our toroidal fields, they happen instantaneously. The thoughts and vibrations and the feelings, the emotions, the words that you speak. So when you say something to someone, those words, the vowels, the consonants, they have their own toroidal shapes and they affect your toroidal. So when you string together language and you're speaking to someone, you are shifting the energies inside of your electromagnetic field and that's also shifting the energy within theirs. The toroidal fields are shaped like a donut. It has a vortex in the middle and it's a spherical shape. I did a quick sketch of this. I'm not sure if you can see it from there, but I will overlay some footage if it's uh, not clear enough. But basically, we are standing in the center of this vortex, this tube, which allows us to send and receive frequencies and signals from the earth through the bottom, and it releases and sends these frequencies up into the cosmos. We can also receive these frequencies from the cosmos in through our field, and that's where we can connect with the higher realms. These toroidal fields, they consist of seven layers, and they start closest to our body, and they expand outward. I'm gonna use my wand. So the toroidal fields consist of seven layers. They start closest to the body, and they expand outward. The layer that is closest to the body is the etheric layer. This is the easiest layer to detect by humans. This is the layer where we feel physical pain and pleasure. It is our basic life force indicator. After the etheric layer, each following layer becomes increasingly more difficult to detect. The next layer following the etheric layer is the emotional layer. This is where we feel emotion. It's associated with our thoughts and our feelings and is usually perceived as color. The following layer is the mental layer, and this is similar to the emotional layer. Both of these layers, the more healthy you are and the more balanced you are on the mental and emotional layers, the more clear and bright these colors in your fields are gonna appear. Then comes the astral layer, which is the bridge between the spiritual and astral realms. Then the etheric template, which represents and communicates different physical illnesses. The celestial and the casual layers are the hardest to detect and they are our direct link to the spirit realms. They both protect us from the negative aspects of the material realm. The celestial layer is where we experience unconditional love and ecstasy, whereas the casual layer is what keeps all of our other layers together. This is the layer that holds all of our experiences that our soul has gone through. And many believe that it is our link to the divine and becoming one with the universe. Every one of these layers, they emit their own frequencies and they have different forms of sending and receiving messages. Think about this. Our thoughts and emotions and the words we speak, their vibrations. These vibrations, these toroidal fields, they affect our electromagnetic field. The electromagnetic field of the heart has been scientifically proven to reach as far as five miles. When one toroidal field overlaps with another one, they are exchanging information. So when you're in a bad mood or you're speaking negatively about someone, you're affecting everyone and everything with that energy, whether you're conscious of it or not. Likewise with them, whether they are conscious of it, they are absorbing that energy and their electromagnetic field is shifting in energies. We are one, we are all connected. So when you're having a bad day, 
Your bad day is being put onto somebody else's day. But when you're compassionate and you're showing love to others and gratitude, you are positively influencing their electromagnetic field. What's even more exciting, the experiences that it has gone through has been recorded on a molecular level and every path that it's taken throughout the entire universe is encoded. And when it enters into another toroidal field, it shifts how that energy now behaves. It has recorded its entire lifetime throughout the entire universe. It really spikes a lot of thoughts on what this means and why every movement, every emotion, every experience in every path that any form of energy has taken is recorded. Everything is recorded. Why? There's so many theories that can come from this. So I'm really curious to hear what your theories are. Let me know in the comments below. I'm excited to hear your thoughts. In addition to the electromagnetic field that flows around our body is also another electromagnetic field around our heart. Our heart is the strongest source of electromagnetic energy within our body. Research that was done at Heart Math Institute suggests that the heart emits an electrical field 60 times greater than that of the brain. With the studies also showing that the heart sends more signals to the brain than the brain does to the heart. Holding around 40,000 neurons, the heart has the ability to process information, learn, and remember. Research is even suggesting that the heart has its own emotions and is intuitive by nature. Every atom in the material realm has the same torus field, which is constantly exchanging energies at infinite numbers and speeds. Understanding toroidal fields at a deeper level can help us connect with the universe as a whole, as well as ourselves on a much deeper level. It can significantly help us understand our place in the universe and also how our thoughts actions, behaviors affect others on a deep energetic level. We can literally shape and influence the material world. And with our increased sense of awareness of how we can affect everything and anything in the universe, we can move around our day with more mindfulness and increased compassion. When you are in alignment across your mental, emotional, and your heart centers, you are in a state of coherence. A field that is in alignment allows energy to flow freely through the center, healing and activating all seven chakras. But when your central channel is blocked due to unbalanced energies, this can cause your chakras to malfunction. The timing between our heart's pulse and the emotional state that we are in are directly correlated. So when you're in a state of anxiety or fear or frustration, our parasympathetic systems, which is a network of nerves, which aid in calming the body after stressful experiences, and our sympathetic systems, which is our network of nerves, which activates our fight or flight response, are out of alignment. So these patterns, when they're out of sync, means we are incoherent. But when we are in states of compassion, gratitude, and love, we are creating a harmonious balance within our heart's rhythm. This then builds a physiological coherence within our toroidal field. When our fields are in coherence, our brain's alpha activity is also increased, which is beneficial in stress management, resilience, adaptability, intuitive connection, and so much more. When our heart's toroidal field is in alignment, this then creates an infinite amount of energy and life force. But not only does this create this inner balance within ourselves, but it also serves as a protective field, kind of like a force field that dispels any negative energies. When your toroidal field is flowing with balance and some negative energy comes to you, it just bounces right off. To cleanse and balance your toroidal field, let's try a visualization method. Start in a comfortable seated position and focus on your breath. Slowly bring your attention to your heart center and rest your awareness on your chest. Imagine clean water coming in from the earth, like a water fountain, flowing through your center, out the crown of your head, and into the cosmos. Dipping back down to earth like a fountain would, with an open center, and circulating through your body, and then out the cosmos again. With each cycle, imagine your field cleansing of the dark, heavy, and negative energy. Acknowledge that Earth is sharing its nurturing energy through your root chakra, and the cosmos are sharing its cosmic wisdoms in through the Earth and back into you. You are in a dance with Earth, the cosmos, and everything in between. 
emanating a vibrant, light, white energy. Release your tension, clear your mind, and continue focusing on the image of your toroidal field being cleansed through each and every layer. Try keeping your awareness around yours and others' toroidal fields throughout the day. Another way to help bring your toroidal field into coherence is to utilize your own heartbeat. If you're ever feeling out of sorts, simply place your hand on your chest and focus on the rhythm of your own heart. This can help shift, center, and ground your energy. Focus on the stillness of the moment and being present where you are now. Whenever needed throughout the day, try quieting the mind and focusing on the heartbeat and that can help bring you back into a state of relaxation. Your toroidal field reflects your words, your thoughts, your inner world, your emotions. So shifting your energies, it doesn't have to be complicated. What you put your attention on is what you put your energy into. So if we can shift our thinking from negative into positive and to find the light side of every challenge, to show compassion and love and practice gratitude throughout every day, then we will directly and instantaneously shift our own toroidal fields, which in turn affects others' toroidal fields on a positive level. What has been your experience with the toroidal fields? And are there other sacred geometric concepts that you want me to dive into next? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know to make more content like this. This follow-up video is a great next step to continue unlocking your inner wisdom. Head on over there and stay blue.